What is up, PK family? My name is Nostal Parkour, and you asked for it, so I'm giving it to you. I got a tutorial for you on the running gainer. Let's get some examples, and then let's get to it. So if you've been watching my tutorials, you should know that the easiest and fastest way to learn any move is to first learn its progressions. So the progressions for a running gainer would be obviously a backflip, a gainer, and I would say also a cheat gainer. Although the actual flip is nothing alike, it's what you do with your arms and legs that are similar. The links to those tutorials will be in the description below. Please watch those, learn those moves, and then once you learn those moves, come back to this tutorial. So, you learn those moves? Good? We're, we're good? Okay, now let's get to the tutorial. First off, the technique. So the first step for a running gainer is obviously your run up, hence running. Now, I, will, I suggest not sp full on sprinting into this because if you run, and like full on sprint with all of that momentum, it's gonna be really hard for you to block with one foot if you're gonna be full on sprinting. So I suggest either just first working on running, uh, doing a running gainer, first walking, so walking gainer, or jogging. But neither of those have a nice like sound to it, ring to it, so we're gonna still call it a running gainer. So let's say you're taking three steps. So one, two, three. On your last step, that is gonna be your takeoff leg, which is the one that stays on the ground while you're doing the backflip. And then once you place that last step, you should have both of your arms behind you like this and your kicking leg behind you like this, like you like a cheat gainer. And then once you practice that, just drill it a couple times, just like one, two, three. And then remember, have both of your uh, hands behind you and your leg behind you. Um, then what you're gonna do from there is just start swinging up with both your arms and your kicking leg, and then go into the tuck. But of course, there's a couple things we need, to get, we need to clarify first. Probably the most important part of this flip is where you place your takeoff foot. So when I take these three steps, so one, two, and then I place my, my takeoff foot really close to my kicking foot, then I'm most likely going to travel a lot more than get height. And then vice versa, if I take my three steps, one, two, and then put my foot all the way back here, I'm going to be blocking a lot, which, which, which will probably give me a lot more height, but it means I won't be traveling as far. And this is basic blocking knowledge. So if you think for a front flip and you do a, a really big run up, if you place your takeoff feet like right below you, you're going to travel a bunch. But if you place your feet in front of you a bit more, you're going to go up instead of forward. So honestly, this move like where you place your foot is kind of trial and error. You have to kind of just keep on practicing, keep on feeling out how far you need to put your foot, how forward you need to put your foot so that you get enough height, but also how close you need your foot to be to your body so that you travel so that's actually a gainer. But yeah, for the rest of the technique, once you actually do swing up and you tuck, it's the exact same thing as a, just a regular backflip. You stay tucked, you spot your landing, and then land. Of course, landing is usually the hardest part, and I know, I know spotting, the, spotting your landing is, a lot, very, is easier said than done, but if you did the progressions like I said in the beginning of this video, which is learn the backflip, learn a gainer, then it shouldn't be that hard. And since that is it for the kind of technique, let's get into part two, which is common things people do wrong and how to correct it. First common thing I see people do wrong is probably the use of the arms. So as I said, people usually do the run-up right because people have been running forever. And they know how to run. They take their three steps, but on this takeoff foot, they forget to bring their arms back. So what that usually looks like is one, two, three, and they just don't know what to do with their arms, so they're just kind of in front, which means you just don't have as much range of motion to pull up. Like, if you're thinking of it as a normal backflip, no one like starts here and then just goes straight up. Well, I mean, probably if you're a little bit more advanced, you've probably tried it, but usually you bring your arms back and then swing up. So the first problem is forgetting about the arms. Correction, remember to bring the arms back as if you're doing a regular backflip. So one, two, and then bring the arms back. Your arms are always attached to that kicking leg. The next thing people commonly do wrong is just the foot placement like I explained before. As I said, 
the foot place the takeoff foot placement is very important on how much you travel and how high you go so if you're not tra if you're not traveling enough if you're trying to go off something and like you're barely going forward enough you probably need to place your foot a bit closer to you and if you need more height like you're barely getting onto your feet and it's just not a really high gainer you probably need to put your foot in front of you more so that you can drive up when you place your foot really close to you like this it's a lot easier to if you're just walking let's say that it's a lot easier to just lunge forward with your hips so if i place my foot just really close in front of me then i'm go it's very easy for me to like lunge my hips forward if i have my foot really far in front of me it will make my hips go from lower to higher as i stand up so again foot closer you can lunge forward which will make you travel in a gainer and and when you put your foot farther in front of you you can go from down to a lot higher the next and final thing people commonly do wrong with this move is something that did, that they do in their regular backflip which is whip their head back if you whip your head back just like a regular uh, for a regular backflip or gainer for the running gainer it will just kill your height kill your traveling and just it'll just make your <laughs> running gainer a lot worse if you don't know what I mean by whipping your head back that's doing like one two three and then you throw your head back as you're doing your backflip. First of all, if you throw your head backward, that will keep you from traveling forward, which means you might not travel enough if you're doing it off of something and then break yourself. And to make it even worse, when you throw your head back, you tend to lean it down. So like you go backward and you lean down, which will kill your height as well. So just focus on not whipping your head back. Uh, when I first learned running gainers, the main thing I thought about is just looking at something in front of me. Well, just when I learned any backflip variation, always look in front of you so that you don't get used to whipping your head back and yeah that's basically all the common things i see people do with running gainers and basically just backflips in general so let's go on to the third thing how to overcome the fear of the move so we have all of the standard progressions which is adjust your environment go from sand to mats to grass to concrete or whatever and then we have progressions as in moves learning your backflip your gainer uh, before you learn this move and if you're still scared to throw this move even though you've learned a gainer then probably if you want to do it off of something uh, off of something higher I would say drill a couple side gainers which is doing a gainer except traveling sideways which has almost the exact same technique except instead of placing your foot in front of you and pointing forward you're placing your foot to the side so 180 so if you can see my foot I'm placing my foot to the side pointing you instead of this way and then you just turn sideways this will just get you comfortable with going off of one foot getting used to swinging that way and just get a little bit more comfortable one two three and then basically from there after you get comfortable with doing a complete 90 degree turn you basically just kind of shift your foot slightly less and less and less until you're going forward and yeah that's basically all of the tips I have to overcome the fear of the move. Before we end the tutorial, let's have a quick visual overview. So you're gonna take your three steps and then once you place that takeoff foot, remember you should have your arms behind you and your kicking leg behind you like this. Then you're gonna swing your kicking leg and your arms at the same time into your tuck. And then just like a regular backflip, you're gonna tuck tight, spot your landing, and then put your feet there. So with that, I'm going to end this video here. If you enjoyed it, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and ring that notification bell button. Please comment below other tutorials you would like me to make. And finally, I will see you guys in the next one. <sighs> PK person.